Hello and welcome to the sideboard here at Star City Games Worcester in Worcester, Massachusetts. My name is Ruben Bressler and I am joined by two of the altruists who have been attending the Open Series over the last several years, I guess, for you. Yeah. And the uh, last couple months for you. Uh, or is it about a year now? Uh, Jacqueline Foglia and Lindsay Burley. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing good. Excellent. Um, and I wanted to bring you guys into the sideboard to talk about the, the health of the, uh, the altruist community. Uh, altruists coming to the Open Series are a big part of what makes this a festival atmosphere at the Open Series, and uh, lots of new altruists have joined the community in the last couple months. Yeah. Do you have any uh, input on that? Um, I mean, I personally like seeing new altruists show up. Uh, it always brings new uh, ideas. Everybody has their own style to do things, and it allows uh, the, the customers to choose who they want to go to. Like, um, instead of having one person show up all the time, you have a, a variety of people. Um, I like how every altruist has different techniques and kind of each of us have our own little niche. Um, everybody does something differently but similar at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, it's the same style of uh, canvas, very small space with very different styles mm -hmm. that you guys work on and it's uh, certainly grown a lot in the last year. Lots of new people coming yeah. in. Um, is that is that just the Open Series or is that the entire community has just gotten more altruists coming out to events? Um, I feel like the Open Series has, has a big, big uh, influx in new altruists, but uh, when I go to GPs and stuff like that, I every time that I go to a GP, I meet somebody new who does altars, who has tried to do altars, and it's it's I feel like it's going growing everywhere. I agree with that. Everywhere that I've been, like in Vegas, it was awesome to see just the actual artists who drawn like the yeah. magic oh, yeah, on the cards, um, and then. I'd be in line and I'd hear like someone saying, hey, I've altered your card, and they'll like have the artist sign it. That's awesome. Um, a lot of people try and do it themselves, which is, I, I think that's awesome. Yeah. Good. Now, you're one of the original altarists on the Open Series. Yes. Um, you've been going to a ton of events, very far from home, sort of a road warrior as much as I am. Yeah. You probably go to more events than I do, I actually. I try to point. hit like two a month. Yeah, at least that's pretty pretty wild. So it's it's uh, it's obviously worth it for you to be doing what you're doing, um, and and you obviously love doing what you're doing. Was this always the plan? Was to try to turn this into your uh, your main source of income? I guess like your job. Um, I mean, not really. When I started doing it, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Uh, so altering was was good when I started, and then it started to take off. So I was like, why not? We'll see where it goes, and it's been doing pretty good so I'll ride it absolutely and see Sounds where good. it takes me yeah and you you started a little bit later than she did going to a few less events uh, is that sort of somewhere that you you see yourself going or are you gonna stay closer to home I know you're from New England area uh, your first event last year I think was Providence yes. um, and, uh, and you, just, you don't go, you aren't quite the road warrior she is yet at least I don't know if that's your plan but uh, do you see that as a possibility going forward? Um, we joke about moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we joke about her, and then I'll take her on my trips with me. <laughs> uh, I did go to Baltimore because I actually went to visit Lindsay, so it was kind of like a dual purpose trip. Sure. Um, if I'm going to a location already, I might as well attend the open. But I try to stay in the Northeast just because it's more convenient, it's closer, sure. and I do know a lot of the players now. So they'll say, like repeat customers, and they'll say, "Hey, I saw your stuff. My friend had. I want X, Y, Z." So that's very awesome. Neat. So um, altering has sort of become a, a mainstay in the community. It, it was not always that way. Um, it's only been the last couple of years that players have started getting cards altered. Yeah. Um, but it's here to stay now. Are you are you proud of uh, of being sort of like a shift in the magic community? I'm very very proud. Um, I was, like you said, one of the first altruists to do it, so I feel like I helped encourage the community to grow, and it, it makes me so happy to see that more people are coming in, and, and I, I started something really neat. I like it. It's awesome. So, yeah. um, what, is the, what is most of the opinions of, if you've ever talked to any of the artists, what are most of the opinions of your, the artists' opinions of your work? Um, I talk to most artists about my 3D stuff more than the painted stuff that I do now. Uh, they really, really like seeing their canvas painting come uh, to life almost so they can see the depth that they actually wanted in the picture. And normally I give them a card that they've done. Like I ask them, what's your favorite card that you painted in standard right now? Sure. And I'll 3D it for you nice. and you can have it. And they really, really love that. It's really nice. Excellent. 
Um, I didn't bring any of, when I went to GP Vegas, I didn't bring any of my altars to show specific artists that were there, like what I did with their work. Right. So I haven't really gotten feedback on it. I haven't been to enough events to really <laughs> do that. But sure. when I went to Providence, um, I did alter, I had alter Spencer. And then Eric signed Eric it. Eric Deschamps mm -hmm. was at, yeah. was at uh, Providence and yeah. he signed it for you. That's mm -hmm. nice. So, so that was cool. And yeah. So it seems like the community is really, uh, in general, not just the players, but but also the, the artists themselves are very receptive of it. And, uh, and it's great to have you guys at the events. Uh, I, I, I feel like if it was just a tournament, it would be so much more boring. You know what I mean? I like that, I like that there's a festival atmosphere going on, yeah. and, uh, and, and I think it's a great addition to the Open Series. So for those of you out there that are unfamiliar with where to reach uh, these ladies while they're not at events to try to get uh, commissioned work from them, where can they find you? Um, you can find me on Facebook, and you can also find me on my website, which is www.hurlyburlyalters.com. Uh, and I also have an email, which is 3dalters at gmail.com. And then you can find me on Facebook as well. And then my website is alterationsandart.com. And then my email is jacquelinefoglia at yahoo.com. Cool. So if you guys want to order any of the work out there or see what they've done in the past, you can go there. Uh, all that information will be available below this video, I imagine. Um, <laughs> any other points that you guys wanted to touch on while you guys uh, had the floor? Oh, um, since my last interview, uh, I have done some newer works. I am now getting into painted altars and border extensions. Uh, I am, of course, doing my 3D altars, as always. And I also do play mats now, too. Cool. Um, I've just been expanding what I currently have, I'm trying to have like stuff on hand for people when they come here, both legacy and standard. Um, just trying to get better at what I do. You're sure. really good at the restorations though too. Oh yes, I do restorations. Yes. Right. <laughs> so if you have any damaged, uh, have you done any damaged power or things like that yes. out there, bring them over there. Have you guys done uh, pieces of power yet? Uh, sh you, you've done moxes, haven't you? I did a mox. I up yeah, yeah, she's done a box, but nothing like major. Yeah, I haven't. Right. Not, not. Nobody's cutting up power. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> well, um, you guys are very talented. We're, we're happy to have you at the Open Series. Jack Foglia, Lindsey Burley. I'm Ruben Bressler, and here with the start uh, at the sideboard here at Star City Games, Worcester, in Massachusetts.